Hi, I'm Tim Wheeler, and I work with the Water Conservation Group, and I provide advice and help in converting landscapes to being more water efficient. So what we'll be doing today is taking this area and converting it from overhead spray irrigation to drip irrigation, which is much more efficient. Our first step is to take an existing pop-up sprinkler head and they're gonna be replaced with components that you need for drip. We're literally just going to take the insides out of it and we're gonna replace that with a component that will turn it into drip irrigation. We install a filter, we have a pressure regulator, and once we screw the top on, we have now taken that system from spray to what is going to be drip once we finish laying out our tubing. So next what we'll do is we'll begin installing the tubing, uh, all of the components push together and are locked in. There's no gluing, there's no need for any kind of tape or thread. You literally push the pieces together. We've laid out our tube. We were able to do this entire planter with one single piece. There are no other fittings or joints except for this last one right here. Once you've installed your tubing, you need to put in drip emitters like that to ensure that you can get water out of the tubing into the plant. Now, the most important thing about installing a drip emitter is making sure that the water is going to go in the root zone of the plant. You can't put them too far away. You're going to use a tool called a punch to make a small hole in the tubing, and then you install your drip emitter. So the last step is to cap off the remaining sprinkler heads so no water comes out of them when the drip is turned on. And what you're literally going to do is take a cap and install it on the top of the sprinkler body so no water can pass out of it when the sprinkler is turned on, just like that. Hi, my name is Jonathan Morales. I'm also part of the water conservation team. Hopefully with what Tim demonstrated with the spray to drip today, you'll be able to implement it at your home or even at a commercial location. To learn more on how to convert your area from spray to drip, go ahead and visit our webpage at pwpweb.com forward slash spray to drip.